Serena Williams is set to be presenting an award to Prince Harry on the 11th of July 2024. The ESPY Awards want to give Harry the Pat Tillman Award for service. The Sussexes have detailed the event more precisely on their personal website stating... ESPN will recognize exceptional individuals who exemplify courage, perseverance, and service. Among the esteemed recipients is Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. There is a lot to unpack with this award, so let's get to the crunch. First, we must start with the Sussex.com quote stating that this award is given to individuals who exemplify courage and perseverance. The first person I think of when I think of courage is definitely not Prince Harry, a man so scared of the British tabloids that he left the continent. 6am on the 14th of March and we are on the freedom flight. <laughs> a man so terrified of his allegedly racist family that he cut off all royal ties. It's difficult to put the words courage and Prince Harry in the same sentence. Then to add perseverance into the equation. I'm hoping Sussex.com were aiming for irony with this because Prince Harry has demonstrated the very opposite of perseverance ever since he met Meghan Markle. The only area I can honestly think of in which Prince Harry has demonstrated perseverance in the slightest is within his desperate lawsuits directed at the British government and British tabloids. His perseverance with regards to his personal security in Britain is akin to that of a small child's perseverance when throwing toys out of their buggy. The awards are being presented by longtime friend of the Sussex, Serena Williams which is the first fishy thing about this award. The Tillman Award is given by ESPN to a person with a strong connection to sports who has served others in a way that echoes the legacy of the former NFL player. Tillman was a safety for the Arizona Cardinals who enlisted in the US Army after the 9-11 attacks. His life was sadly taken in Afghanistan in 2004 in a friendly fire incident. One of the nominees of this year's award was the celebrated Olympian Simone Biles. Remember, this is a sporting award, yet the only thing that Prince Harry is currently sporting is a dad bod. How did he win this award over Simone Biles, sporting legend who not only claimed notoriety through her skill as a gymnast, but also was a prominent voice in the case against the monster that is Larry Nassar, who was ultimately convicted for his many crimes and sentenced to 60 years in federal prison. There can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. I don't want another young gymnast, Olympic athlete, or any individual to experience the horror that I and hundreds of others have endured in the wake of the Larry Nassar abuse. To be clear, sorry. What did Harry do? Well, he stole the concept of the Invictus Games from the USA version of the Warrior Games in 2013 and credit where credit is due, he made it work. Albeit with the support of the royal family and the help of a team of very, very competent organisers. The Invictus Games is one of the best things Harry has taken credit for. But that's just it. He takes a lot of credit for the Invictus Games, but how much work does he actually do towards organising the Games? Whoever's idea it was to put me here was... <laughs> yeah. It seems from our perspective that he is just the face of the Games, but even that has been called into question many times due to his behaviour, such as his tendency for Class A drugs and his addiction to bad-mouthing his family through as many media mediums as he can. Should he really be receiving this award? In my opinion, the only award that the Sussexes really do deserve is the award for receiving the most awards for doing absolutely nothing. Never has any other couple received more recognition for doing zilch. 
Something doesn't add up. And I think a couple of you in the comments have nailed it. Someone said, it makes sense now. Serena is a good family friend and now she's giving Harry an award. Friends giving friends awards again. Megan will probably receive the award next. And someone else commented underneath that Megan will probably be on stage with Harry and grab the award or push him on the stage to receive and better yet, she'll grab the mic and give a speech. You have Meghan Markle down to a T, my friend. Absolutely. And I would pay to see that, to be honest, because whenever Meghan exposes herself like this, it is comedy worthy. It's comedy gold. And she doesn't realize she's doing it, which makes it even funnier. There's been so many occasions on which her grabby little hands have got out of control and tried to grab something. And the odd occasion in which the person holding the object does not let her take it. And that, my friends, for some reason, makes me so happy every time. Remember the polo match when she tried to grab that box off the young lad who had just competed? Or the time when she tried to grab the mic off that nice lady on the stage? There's something so satisfying about it when they just don't let her grab away. Someone else said it must be so jarring for the real heroes, the Invictus Games organizers, the military guys who protected him whilst he played video games, etc. I wish the people who decided this could give just one example of something Hazza has actually done. Behind the scenes are the people who do it all. He shows up and then wins prizes just for who he is. It is demeaning. There have been many allegations that Harry was not actually doing very much when he was in Afghanistan. And if anything did get quite heated, he was protected. So the people on his camp were having to work doubly as hard because they had to protect Prince Harry and not only their other men, but also their country. I can imagine that would actually be annoying for them. It's like babysitting a large child, which is maybe why Harry felt obliged to brag about his kill number, which was very inappropriate. And we do not hear of our most decorated heroes and the bravest people we know doing this in the same way because it is inappropriate. And someone else said, it is time to end the award then. You are giving that guy an award named for a guy who passed up an NFL career to serve his country in the most intense way possible and ultimately give his life in service. You're giving this award, this very honorable award dedicated to this very noble man, to Prince Harry, what's going on in the world? The world has gone officially mad. And this is just another example of that. Hit like if you think that Bart Simpson would have been more worthy of this award than Prince Harry and subscribe to help the Crown family blossom. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss a future episode and we'll see you down in the comments.